Hello everyone. So now we are going to talk about, like we are going to continue the discussion. So distribution of charges in a conductor and action of points. Okay. So it's a like pretty theory concept. We have to like talk about that, and I will give some examples as well. Okay. Listen. First one, distribution of charges in a conductor. So we are taking two conductors. One of like two spherical conductors. So one is here A, and other one is here B. Okay, two conductors and their radii R1 and R2, their charges are Q1 on A and Q2 on B, and it's connected by a conducting wire. And one thing that you have to note is that is the distance between two conductors, which is much much bigger than their radii. Okay, then next one. First of all, we have to find out. Listen. When when we connect, like when we give a Q charge, a capital Q charge in common to both of them, so it will it will divide or it will divide accordingly Q1 and Q2. What is that accordingly means? Like I mean, uh, what is the what is the criterion here? So it is very simple. That is a potential at A and potential here and potential here. B A and B B both of them should be equal. Okay, that is we we know all, all those. Because we know that like one uh, charge will always go from higher potential to lower potential until their potentials are equal. Okay, so listen, V A. So until their potential become equal. So V A is equal to one by four pi epsilon zero Q one by R one. So we know this equation, right? Potential equation. V B is equal to one by four pi epsilon zero Q two by R. Again, listen. V A is equal to V B. You can consider V A is equal to V B. That is our condition because two two potentials become equal. They are equal right now. Q one then V A equal to V B. You just equate both of them. One by four by seven zero will get cancelled, and then Q one by R one is equal to Q two by R. Again, what is Q? What is what is sigma surface charge density? Surface charge density is equal to charge divided by area. So Q by 4 pi r square since it is a sphere. Okay. So Q then Q1 Q I can write sigma into 4 pi r square. So what about Q1? 4 pi r 4 pi into r1 square sigma 1. And next one 4 pi into uh, r2 square into sigma 2. So substitute Q1 and Q2 in these equations. The Q1 by R1, Q2 by R2. I substitute those values. 4 by 4 by will get cancelled. 1 R1 R1 will get cancelled. R2 R2 will get cancelled. So what is the final result? Q1 by R1 is equal to Q2 R2. Or simply we can say that Q into R, sorry sigma into R is equal to a constant. Sigma into R is equal to a constant. So now Q1 R1 I mean sigma 1 R1 is equal to sigma 2 R2. Here Q1 by R1 is equal to Q2 by R2. Two equations very very important. Like so, final result we have obtained that is Q sigma into R. Sigma is surface char charge density into ra radius. That is a constant. Okay, that is about the distribution of charges in a conductor. Next topic, and before going to talk about next next uh, topic, example 1.23. I would like to give you as an assignment. Example 1.23. Just look at these these equations. Basic formula. Substitute in this in those equations. Like I mean, substitute all the values given in in these equations. You will get it. Okay. So no more confusion over there. Like uh, so. Example 1.23. Just for a sake of understanding, just uh, just do it as an assignment. Okay. Next uh, concept we are going to talk about action points. Or corona discharge, action points of corona discharge. It is the best topic that we can study in these times because of corona, right? So this corona is not that corona. Like this is pretty, uh, like, I mean, different corona. So let's talk about this. Okay. So first of all, you have to know one thing. That is principle of action of points. So that is not in textbook. I mean. Uh, like you just listen. Principle of action of points. What is principle of action of points? Which is very simple. 
That is, if suppose we have a conductor like this, suppose there is a conductor like this, like this, and the one one portion, like suppose look at this portion, this is a uniform conductor, but at one portion there is there is a spike over there, there is a spike over there, then the area of the spike will be less, right? So in these cases, the charge density over here, like the charge density here, it will be much much higher. Okay, that is principle of action of points compared to the charge density over other places. Okay, so this is what is principle of action of points. Anyways, the Hertz experiment. So we have to discuss the same thing over there. So this has many applications like that. Okay, so in principle of corona discharge is nothing but. So suppose there is a conductor like this. There is a conductor like this. And look at this. Here it is a sharp region, right? So or more of sharp region, area is less here. So here the the charge density will be more here. Charge density will be less here. Okay. So what? That is not a uh, corona discharge. That is what is action of action points. Action points. These points are called action points. And this particular principle is known as principle of action of points. Okay. Again, this one. Okay, so this one here the charge density is more, right? Due to this high charge density, what would happen is it will ionize, it will ionize the air molecules over here. It would ionize the air molecules over there, and then what will happen? Positive and negative charges will get separated, and since it is positive charge, the negative charges will accumulate here. Negative charges will accumulate here, and positive charges will will ripple from the from that portion. Okay, that that process is known as corona discharge. That process is known as corona discharge. Okay, I think you have got it. Since it is high, like since high electric field is here, so charge charge density is more means more electric field. So since there is more electric field over here, then this the air molecules here they 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 get. I am right. Then negative charges will accumulate, or negative charges will attract positive charges will repel. Okay. And next we are going to uh, study lightning arrestor or lightning conductor. It's very easy, very easy concept. That is usually in homes we keep one one small conductor like uh, so. Suppose this is my pretty home. Okay. 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 And we, we we keep something like this, and then this 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 would have a a sharp conductor, a sharp object over there. And these sharp object, obviously, due to the action of points, the charge density over there will be more. Okay. So and it 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 connects with one copper plate, copper plate, and it is it is copper plate. And it is directly connected to the earth. Okay, so earth is a universal acceptor, like universal conductor. We all know that. So it will, it will, earth will conduct all the charges, excess charges, du during lightning. During lightning, so what will happen? The the air molecules will get ionized. So then what will happen? The this has a sharp edge. So due to action of points. Charges will accumulate here, so the excess charges will go to the earth. Okay, so one thing you have to note: this is not like uh, 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 the main itself it is lightning arrestor, but it is not exactly like that. Lightning will happen; it does not uh, uh, or it does not uh, like reject the light lightning. Lightning would be there, but only what what it does? It does only arresting the charges. I mean, it is it is harmful to our uh, house. Okay, so that is why we, uh, this 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 thing we keep it home. So usually we in these times we don't keep that. But anyways, like it is it is a well example of it's a very good example of corona discharge action of points. Okay, you read you read about this. It's a pretty theory concept. It's easy only. Okay, thank you.